Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. All right, so now we can use festering bloody fingers to invade other worlds. So yeah, looks like we're gonna be doing that today. Uh, um, everyone, this is Gaming Master, and we're gonna be playing some more of Elden Ring. In the last episode, yeah, we uh, we did this, which I'm doing right now. We just watched chaos and war, not Elden Ring. And just watch the struggle for the upper hand in society, for food, for safety, to fend off people who want their territory, and for us just making life harder for people <laughs> with our summons and our <laughs> lone wolf ashes and everyone else. Yeah, so that's what we did last episode. We fooled around a little bit with some not, like, extremely effective rune farming methods, but still decently effective, like this is 50,000 runes per hour, and you're just standing here, not really doing anything. And we did another rune farming uh, method in uh, Syophra Riverwell. Uh, now, it's not really that effective once you do it, like, the second time, third time, fourth time, but first time, it's pretty good, it's pretty effective. Um, to, I mean, the, the second one at Syophra Riverwell wasn't exactly our farming method, it was just a one one shot, but still, it was pretty effective. Uh, but yeah, so this is what we did the last episode. I'm just letting you guys watch this one last time because after this, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna show this ever again on my channel. Or I might in like a funny moments montage, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed that farming method. That's the end of War and Elden Ring. Now we're going off to do some eff effective and efficient rune farming methods and not funny ones like that one because that one is just supposed to be funny. Let's do one that's actually, like, legitimately, <laughs> you know, effective. So, yeah. Um, so, but we just went to Var, right? We went to White Mask Var, and he gave us Festering Bloody Fingers. Now, if you complete part of his quest line, you'll be able to get to uh, um, a, uh, a an area where you can do a lot of farming. So, now, we're not going to do the full quest, since you don't... I'm not going to try... I'm not going to... I'm not going to attempt to, because... I don't need to, to get this farming method. I just have to use his bloody fingers and do one more quest after that. So, we're just gonna invade other worlds with this bloody finger. Now, you do have to have an online membership for Elven Ring. Uh, so, but if you have that membership, you'll be fine. If you don't, you, it, it won't allow you to use the bloody fingers. So, you wanna make sure you have that, um, membership. But, yeah, if you have that, then that's great. So, now you can just invade other worlds. Now, it does take a while to invade other worlds. Uh, so you are gonna have to wait a while, but... Eventually, you'll be able to invade worlds. Now, I believe you have to invade his, um, this world, like, I believe it's three or four times. I, I, I don't think you have to do all five, because he gave us five bloody fingers. I don't think, I'm pretty sure you don't have to do all five. Uh, I think it's like three or four times you have to invade worlds. And you don't have to win either. You, you just have to invade the world. You don't even have to win. You just have to use them. And right now, I think, okay, my host, my host was, um... It seems my host was fighting somebody already. He was fighting a, a monster, and looks like my host just died. L yeah, looks like my host died, and now I guess I'm. Uh, <laughs> ah, I got a free win there. Okay, well, um, that that's nice. I I would like a real battle though. I mean, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Honestly, so whenever I use a bloody finger, I always lose. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but yeah. In order to invade the bl bloody finger, yeah, you're just gonna make that. You know, thing, and then you just wait. You just, like, let that red thing, bloody finger thing go. And then, yeah, it'll just teleport like that. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, it looks like we're gonna... Okay, looks like... I see the bloody finger there. I think we're gonna have a real battle. Oh, he has a helper, too. Or no, okay. Oh, he, here he is, the host of fingers. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Okay, I've got him, like, at half health now. He has, like, this helper here. Yeah, it's a bloody finger hunter. They're here to hunt me down. Oh, gosh, I need flasks, flasks. I, so, yeah, when you have bloody fingers, you only have uh, two flasks, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> if I do say so myself, I am being hunted by these guys. Oh, gosh. 
Oh gosh, I am so scared. Maybe if I run through the tree, something like can distract them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna survive this. No, okay, I died. Oh, come on, no. All right, well we died. Yeah, I, 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 I mean I'm not good compared to other players. I mean let's be honest. I'm, not, I suck at this game, but. I mean, at least I at least I got a real battle and not the <laughs> battle I had earlier, which is just kind of cheating. But yeah, um, so I, this is not my first time doing this. I've invaded worlds before. I've never won. That was the first the first time we invaded th that that first invasion. Like that was the only time I won. Like when when, when that guy died when he was fighting that guy and it, when we first earlier in the episode. Like that was just like. That's the first time I've ever won. I've only won once in this entire game. I've never actually won any of these, you know, I've never actually killed a host of fingers, so. I would like to be able to do that, though. That would be very nice if I could do that. Because, yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so I think there's only one more. So I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. I'm just doing this for fun. Let's just invade another world. Just, you know, because we, we had five. Let's just, you know, we'll just use the final one. Okay, this is actually taking super long. Nobody's, like, allowing themselves to be invaded. All right, you know what? Fine, fine. No one, no one's, no one's, uh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm actually, I'm gonna cancel it. Cause, um, yeah, forget it. Forget it, forget it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it, no. It's taking too long. I don't even have to do this. I did it four times. I'm pretty sure it's three. It might be four. I don't know. But it's, it's some, somewhere, it's, it's around that amount. You have to, like, invade the worlds, like, four times or three times. I don't know the exact amount. Pretty sure it's three, but it might be four times. But yeah, once you do that, you just go back to Var at the Rose Church, which is right here. There's White Masked Var. It's right there, so you can just go there. Um, at the Academy of Rylukari, I'm gonna go there. So pleased you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Hmm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Uh, anoint me, yeah, sure. Let's, I'll, I'll, I'll anoint you myself. Any other way. Or, I mean, not anoint myself. You can, no. you can anoint me. Take this. Just anoint me. Okay, Lord of Blood's For favor. Your final trial. Soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless. The blood of anyone's maiden will do. All right, so yeah, he just he just told us to soak a cloth in a maiden's blood. So we just have to find a dead maiden and put our cloth in her blood. Basically, that's basically all we have to do. We're not gonna we don't don't we, we're not gonna kill a maiden. Don't worry, we don't have to. Normally, we would have to kill our own maiden, but as Var always likes to tell us, you are maidenless. Ha 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 ha, you are made of this. Yeah, he likes to he likes to tease us about how we're maidenless and all that. So yeah, we're actually just gonna we don't we don't have to kill our maidens. We're just gonna take someone some other maiden's blood and soak our cloth in that. So yeah, uh so it the, the closest ma dead maiden, there's a bunch of them, bunch bunch of maidens that are dead. All over the place, but the closest one is the Church of Inhibition up on that mountain. So um you, you saw where it was on the map now, so I'm just gonna kind of figure out where to go from there. Because it is kind of hard because there's so many cliffs, so I'm just gonna try and figure some things out. To, oh, no, madness! Oh, no! Oh, no, these rats are making me mad! They're giving me madness! No! I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run! No! Oh, my God! This madness sucks! Oh, my God! <laughs> That madness is insane! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! All right. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, uh, okay. So uh, I'm gonna try and take a, a new a new approach from this. I'm gonna try a different way to get to this 
Church of Inhibition. I've gotten there before, but I've used like another path. That I don't I don't really remember how I got there the first time. <laughs> I just kind of figured it out, but I don't have time for. I just have to find a. I just have, I mean, I, I just have to find a. I just have to find a route. What a pity okay. Listen to this person to first. Be without the right. All you without even the heart before the un. Or to find the cap. All right. Well, now that we're done with that, let's continue. Continue on. All right. We've got to the side of Grace here. This is a good resting spot. Okay. This is good. We found something. We got a sacred tear. Very nice. All right, let's keep going. Look for what we can find. Okay, I found a rune arc. It's not really helping me. Is there anything else I can, like, find here? I don't know. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay. I'm just going to keep going. Let's just keep moving. Figure it out. I'm on this, like, oh. Oh, God. Madness is coming again. Let's no madness! I keep getting madness! No! No, 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 no. Okay, stand in this spot. I don't get madness in this spot. Okay, good. Good. We don't have madness here. Let's run. Let's run. Okay, we're in the frenzied flame village. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. No! It's a bloody finger! No! It's a bloody finger! Go, 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 go! No, no, no. Okay, I, I I, got the... No, no, can, can I please get the maiden? There's a dead maiden right there. Can, can I please? Okay, you... Okay. Get get out of here. No, no, no. Madness, no! Okay, no, we got the side of grace, though. So we should... We should respawn back at the side of grace. If, am, I, am I correct? Am I back at the side of grace? That I just got. Yes, we're right where the dead maiden is. Hooray! Yay, okay, we got it. We got to the Church of Inhibition. Let's get that dead maiden. Let's pick up the sacred tear. Let's get our lost runes. All that stuff. We can make our flasks increase more HP with the sacred tear. And get the finger ma maiden robe. And the Lord of Blood's favor. We've soaked it in her blood. And now we bring it back to Var. And I'm sure he'll be happy about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, he was, keeps on talking about maidens, and now he's talking about dead maidens. Still no lover. Oh, that's that's really sad. <laughs> the message there is just like, still no lover. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's too bad. Oh, well. At least we got that, at least we got that, uh, that maiden's blood. The maiden's blood served a purpose. The, the, even after her death, she still served a purpose for me to soak it in the tar in the future Elden Lord's blood. Ah, yeah, I mean no, soak her blood in the future You've Elden Lord's your final cloth or whatever that thing and is. With this, you are a formal inductee, a knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now. Give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. All right, and if we talk to him again, yep, he's gonna, yep, he's gonna take our hand and he's gonna literally, like, I think he, like, cuts our, I think he takes a piece of our oh, finger off. heavens. Clench your teeth or something. I mean, by our screams, we sound pretty terrified. Yeah, we got a reusable bloody finger. So, what it looks like oh, is that he actually okay. peeled a piece of my finger you off. <laughs> I can see it's very painful. Oh, and I got the Pure Bloods a Night Medal. Granted by the new Moguin Dynasty, with the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog, I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. Alright, yeah, he says don't use it. 
I'm not going to listen to him. Let's use it anyway. Because we can just leave here. And yeah, we're at Mogwin Palace. And he can't get us because we just left. We left him. And look, right here at this dead guy. It's a map. Mogwin Palace. So we've already got a map. No worries about the map. The, the, the game literally just is like... Alright, we'll be nice to you. I know we're a hard, it's a hard game. We'll, we'll just let you have this map. So they just give us the map. And then, yeah, up here, it's Luminary. So, yeah, there's a summoning pool here. But um, up here, yes, there is a... Uh, it's Luminary Moog. The guy that VAR can't stop talking about is up here. Yeah, he's up here. And there's a gigantic road of zombies, which are going to try and kill you. But if you get up there, yeah, you can fight this uh, optional boss. Um... And he has, he has a remembrance, so you do get something really cool um, that you could use, actually, for the rune farming methods I'm going to do. But um, it has a cool Ash of War and everything, cool weapons you can get from it. But that's not what we're doing right now, because there's a glitch where you can just, like, kill him really quickly and he doesn't even attack you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, not, I'm too weak to, to waste my time on optional bosses. So uh, I'm going to go and do these get these rune farms. So we're not going to do glitches today. We're going to be do, um, doing the glitches in the next episode. And we'll do glitches later. So yeah, we'll do we'll do it next episode. And then we'll might even we might fight the next boss, which is uh, I mean it's a much easier boss. It's a much more relaxing experience than the other bosses we've been fighting. But yeah, just follow uh, follow along over here. I'm gonna bring you to where we need to go. So for, from there, I'm just gonna cross along here. This little river of blood here. There's just this lake of blood. I don't know if it's blood. It looks like people's blood. So <laughs> that's why I went there. Oh, that's why I called it. River of Blood, because it looks like a river of blood. Uh, I'm also just going to mix around my Flask of Wondrous Psychic, just because I have these things that I got in the last episode, and I never really used them. So I'm just... I just turned my Flask of Wondrous Psychic into something else now. It's a little different, but let's see. Let's see. How has our Wondrous Psychic changed? Okay, so now instead of just boosting all of our stats a little bit, so now it temporarily raises max stamina and temporarily boosts charged attack power... All right, I like that. This is uh, yeah. Let's we can now. We, yeah, this the cool thing about Flask of Wonder Psychic, it, it, you can do many things with it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So okay, so the probably like the like greatest rune farming method in the game. Well, I don't know about the greatest, but like the the greatest that's like not a glitch is like right here. It's it's right here, right here. All these guys, each of these sleeping guys. Is uh, two thousand runes. Each of them you kill is two thousand runes, and then um, and if you kill all of them all at once, you, there's like you'll, you'll there's like fifteen of these guys, so you'll get thirty thousand runes. And there's so remember Luminary Moog? Yeah, I mean how could you? <laughs> how, how could you forget after Var kept on talking about him? But yeah, Luminary Moog, that weapon you can get from his Remembrance. If you just like use the Ash of War on it, it'll like destroy all the enemies all around it. And if you yeah, if you use that Ash of War three times. It should kill all of them in three times. In, in five seconds, we will get like 30,000 runes. So, I am not equipped to do this rune farming method yet. I can only kill a few at a time. I, I can't even handle two. I don't, I don't even think I can handle two. Let's see. Can I handle two? I don't I don't think I... I think I'm going to die. I'm, I might die. Unless... If I can... Yes. Yeah, so, see, I died. <laughs> so, I can't even handle two. So, I have to get my better weapon. So, you could use Moog's... Luminary Moog's weapon... Or you could, or and there's another way to do it. You have, you can kill the the final boss, Elden Beast, and you can continue along the game after killing the final boss. But I mean, this is a guide for people who have not beaten the game. What's the point? Like, I'm trying to beat the game with all these rune farming methods, so I'm not gonna get the, I'm not gonna wait to beat the game. I'm gonna get Luminary Moog's weapon, which we can get in the next area we have to go to throughout the game. Uh, so, so we just have to wait a little longer, but that's one of the, um, place, the, the places we have to go in order to, for the one of the greatest rune farming methods, or if not the greatest rune farming, rune farming method. But there's another rune farming method that's right in that in that exact area, or that almost probably in that exact spot. We're like at at, at same side of grace that you can go back to, uh, but you need arrows, lots and lots of arrows. So I'm just gonna buy like an insane amount of arrows. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of arrows, because you need them. Um, now, it's good to have a longbow for this, but I don't have a longbow, and I don't see, I can't find any longbows. I, I think they still have somewhere at, like, round, somewhere <laughs> around round table hold, somewhere, but, um, yeah, uh, but, so I don't have that right now, so right now I'm gonna use a short bow. But yeah, if you go back to the side of grace, if you shoot the bird, 
who's just kind of just chilling here. If you shoot him, now this is taking me too long. Yeah, if you shoot him, I'm out of practice with this. Yeah, he'll just walk off the edge. And now if you shoot him in the head, he's going to do this. He's just going to walk on the side and he's not going to fall. Or I don't know if you, sometimes you don't, even if you don't shoot him, the, or if you shoot it like right next to him, he might just like come over and like look and then no matter how many times you hit him, it won't work. But if you don't shoot him in the head, then it sh he should do something else. Yeah, it'll, okay, well I shot him in the head that time. But yeah, so he, he'll eventually just charge like in the, yeah, if, so yeah, he'll just charge forward and he'll fall off the edge. And it gives you 11,000 runes each time you do this. And if you just sit at the site of grace over there, you'll literally just respawn the bird. So you can just farm 11,000 runes in like just a few seconds. Now, if I can just get this on my first try, it would be a lot more <laughs> faster. Yeah, y y you'll get better with practice. See, see okay. I don't know why that failed. Yeah, some you, you'll you'll get better with practice. I don't know why I keep failing. Yeah, it's good to do this with a long bow. I have a short bow. You could do this with a short bow, but it's a lot more effective with a long bow. I recommend long bows. Do not use short bows like I am doing. This is like a sniper tool, and technically we are sniping him, but long bows, it's a lot better range. This one's not really meant for this guy. Because as you can see, I'm not aiming. Like it's just It's just a lot easier with the long bow. So I recommend long bows. But anyway, yeah, those are the rune farming methods that I'm definitely going to use a lot. Uh, so yeah, so yes, you can keep on doing this. Um, yeah, there we go. We just fell again. We just get a free 11,000 runes. So you want to wait t till he gives you the 11,000 runes, though, because he might not give it to you if you don't wait. But yeah, anyway, so there we go. That's it. That's really all it is. That's all you had to do. Um, so it's really easy. It's, a, it's not too hard. And you can level up, you know, so it's good. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get all notifications every time I upload a video. And I'll see you in the next episode where we do some glitches to get more runes. I'll see you then. Goodbye.